you wouldn't believe it, but I still haven't managed to see Mene Pyar Kiya in the theater. Oh, the Kabutar got really friendly to me and it was oh. so difficult for him to fly away because he would come and perch himself on my head or on my shoulder or on my hand. Yeah. And finally, uh, we used to have this whole uh, thing on the set when Salman would say, you'd rather romance the pigeon than me. So, <laughs> whether it was um, Suraji, Salman or myself, yeah. all of us were so raw in our emotions and um, we became great friends on the set. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can just see the chemistry. Right. You can see what happened to right. the movie. Right, right, right. Ma'am, thank you so much for giving this interview. Uh, does it feel like it's been 30 years of Mene Pyar Kiya? Does it look like it? It doesn't look like <laughs> it at all. Well, it almost seems like yesterday actually because the memories are still so fresh in yeah. my mind. And um, I think that credit actually goes to the audience because yeah. they've kept me fresh in their minds. You know, Mene Pyar is the first film I ever saw. And uh, it's actually the film that taught me how to speak Hindi. I grew up in the US and it used to run on loop on our VCR. <laughs> okay. uh, and uh, that's how I learned how to speak the language. So well, that's, me, that's, a, that's the first because yeah. most of them say, uh, this film actually taught us how to fall in love. Interesting, <laughs> interesting. So. Okay, so that's the first. <laughs> okay, excellent. So how did this film happen? Uh, well, strangely so. Um, I really wasn't interested in getting into movies yeah. and um, I had my eyes set upon uh, coming to the US mm -hmm. and finishing my education there yeah. and um, my parents were not too keen on sending me away mm -hmm. you know back in those days it was Beti Dur Chali Jayegi and uh, you know you'd get married and you'd barely yeah. have time with us so no, stay put. Yeah. We don't want you to go abroad. Yeah. Yeah. So I was right here and um, I did a small stint in a TV serial called Kachi Dhu. Yeah. yeah. So I guess Raj Babu saw me yeah. and uh, he was almost like a father figure. Yeah. And he's the one who suggested my name to Suraji. And um, since he and my father knew each other, both of them came home. The scenario was really like a boy coming to see a girl, you know. Um, <laughs> Into Rajshree style. Totally. <laughs> Just say garden me, uh, there was this whole table set up with tea, coffee, nashta, everything. Yeah. On one side, me and my parents. On the other side, Raj Babu and Suraji. Yeah. And uh, he says, "Well, my son's just starting off a film, yeah. and uh, why don't we do that?" let the children go and talk on their own. <laughs> okay. So it was like really, we, I had no clue what was coming. Sure, sure. And um, yeah, we went into the other room and Suraji started narrating the story to me and um, it was so similar to my own state of mind at that point of time mm -hmm. because I was in love with um, Himale mm -hmm. and my parents were opposing at that point of time. Mm -hmm. So um, while listening to the script, I started crying. And Suraji got even more interested and um, I said it's a lovely script and a lovely story but I'm afraid I'm not really keen on doing films. And he said why so? And I said um, I couldn't really tell him a reason. So I said uh, script mein na ye problem hai. So that's the reason I don't want to do it. So he said okay and he went back. And then he came again after about 10 days and he said, I'll narrate the script all over again to you. And I told him another problem this time. So he went back again uh -huh. and then he came again. So this, this continued for about seven times till sure. finally I, there was no reason for me to say no. And that's how many PRK happened. Wow. <laughs> wow. So when you met him first time, was it a full three hour narration or like a quick story synopsis? No, 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 no. The complete thing, though it didn't take him three hours to narrate right. it. Yeah. Right. But we sat for about an hour and um, I guess it was like what he felt from his heart and that's how we did the film actually. Yeah. Whether it was um, Suraji, Salman or myself, yeah. all of us were so raw in our emotions and um, we became great friends on the set. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can just see the chemistry. Right. You can see what happened to right. the movie. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, Suraj sir, you know, I, was, I assisted him on Premaratan Tanpayo and he always said that uh, Lata ji, just film pe apna haath rakhti hai, wo success ho jati hai. So for you, what was it like on your first film to have the entire soundtrack 
your voice was Lata Mangeshkar. What was that like? You know, strangely, so I wasn't I wasn't so much in awe of her. Yeah. Reason being that my father had worked with her, and sure. um, she held my father in great regard because mm. we come from the same town, Sangli, oh, which is my hometown, and uh, we belong to the royal family. So the interaction um, between my father and Lata Ji was known to me as a child. So, of course, it was um, an honor that every newcomer would like. Right. And I, uh, I definitely was overwhelmed that she sang all the uh, songs. Mm -hmm. But like you say, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't a question of awe for me over there. Mm. Did you have any inkling that this would become the legend that it did? No, I mean, all of us were putting in hard work. So we all prayed for its success and wanted it to be successful. But... Um, you know, I've always gone through life saying enjoy the journey. Hmm. So for me, it was like, was I really enjoying what I was doing? And I sure. was. I was sure. really having such a great time on set and interacting with everyone. So um, it was more about that. Right. And um, like I said, that we all were putting in hard work. So it always helps when it's appreciated. Mm -hmm. But no, not in our wildest dreams could we have ever imagined something like this. So why do you think it's still so relevant today? I think it's a simple love story. Mm -hmm. Everything that touches the heart stays forever. Mm -hmm. You know, you you never forget your first love. It's it's easier for friendship to develop into love than have love at first sight. Mm -hmm. You know, though there's a dialogue ki ladka ki kabhi dost nahi ho sakte. But um, when a friendship grows mm -hmm. into love, mm -hmm. is something that I think every couple would aspire yeah. and every couple would even want the opposite to happen that the person mm -hmm. you fall in love with mm -hmm. becomes your best friend mm -hmm. for you what was the first uh, sort of epiphany moment when you realized that this film has become something else i just delivered my baby okay okay so my world actually revolved around my son abhimanyu yeah. yeah but the crazy part was that um you know after the whole 40 days thing that you stay at home after the baby's mm -hmm. delivery and stuff like that and I wanted to go and buy him stuff sure. and um, that time there was this one store that was uh, in Breach Candy mm -hmm. and I said okay just let me go and buy mm -hmm. stuff for my baby and I went there and I had no clue but the crowd was uh, unmanageable outside and they broke the entire store and I had to be escorted through the gate you know from where the staff comes in and out and um, yeah then I mean I was staying in a building at that point of time so the entire staircase would be full of flowers every single day postman who uh, are mm -hmm. so uh, these guys would carry sacks of letters you know on their backs you know like Santa Claus yeah and of course, you wouldn't believe it, but I still haven't managed to see Mene PRK in the theater. Like I said, at that point of time, I delivered a baby. Sure. So um, my in-laws and everyone said this is a very vulnerable time and we don't want you to get hurt and we don't sure. want you to go there. And um, yeah, after that, the euphoria was so much that uh, there was no way that, uh, you know, even with the police protection, they said, you know what, it's avoidable. So you'd rather go and see it in a small theater or, you know, a private screening. Yeah. So I've never really managed to see wow. it with the audience. Wow. What was the first day of shoot like? Was it an Uti? Was that the, was Dildiwana the first thing you No, started? that was my first outdoor. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So uh, the first day of shoot was actually um, in a temple premise. So it okay. was very surreal and we had, um, Bhagwanji ki murti over there. It was the last temple scene. Oh, so the last one. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we, okay, we did okay. that. Okay, got it, got it. You know, Suraji often credits you for teaching him how to direct. What do you have to say to that? Really? I mean, that's not something that he's told me, but I felt so easy on the set because, um, for one, he would never tell me what to do in a scene. Hmm. He would narrate the scene to me and he would say, Acha Bhagyashri, uh, just do your thing. Mm -hmm. And I would say, yeah, but can you tell me what I'm supposed to do? And he'd say, no, just make sure at the end you reach here. I mean, if there's a you know, place where we had to walk mm -hmm. or something like that, he would say, 
or he would say tell me how you would react and then we'll place the camera i don't think there's a single single time in many pr kia where there's anything more than the second take and and you think it, a lot of it had to do with the fact that you were all doing it for the first time so there were no preconceived notions yeah. on how to act yeah but it was also that there was this um, impeccable trust that one had with one another mm -hmm. because you know unlike today's times where they had the monitor you know we didn't have a chance of re redoing the whole thing True. again so what would you say was the most difficult or challenging scene that you had to shoot i I think it was a song Mere Rang Mere Rang Nevali because at that point of time um, I was going through a lot of um, emotional upheaval in my own life. Uh, my my parents actually were against me getting married, and then I was shooting this really romantic song, and it was so difficult to switch on and off. Sure. So uh, it was literally like after every shot, I would go to my makeup room and howl and cry. Everyone was. Everyone in the sense, Salman and Suraj, you were really uh, very nice to me at that point of time. And they said, "Do you want us to sh stop the shoot? Do you want us to like wait a bit?" And there was one part of me that was so committed to my work, sure. and I didn't want them to lose time, effort, and money over there. So I said, "No, no, no. We have to finish this. We have to go." And there, were, my heart was breaking, and I was thinking of ten thousand things in my head. And here I was shooting the most romantic sequence with Salman. So, which is yeah. so crazy because when we see it, we would have had no idea this is what was going on. Yeah. You know, in in the thirty years, the three decades that have followed, I don't think there's any actress in the Hindi film industry who hasn't wanted to be a Rajshree heroine after Maine Pyar Kiya. So, what was it about Suman or the way you portrayed Suman that you think, you know, why does every heroine want to have a piece of that? She was the girl that everyone wanted to take home to their family. Mm -hmm. uh, every girl um, actually wanted to have Salman as her boyfriend. True, true. Um, every man wanted to find a girl like Suman. Yeah. I guess in all this, the only person who got really lucky was Himalaya. I guess Suraji wanted this girl to be that person, that woman, that um, girlfriend, that. Everyone would want in their home, heart, and family. Yeah. So I think that's the connect, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What was the first song that you filmed from Maine Pyar Kiya? I think it was Dil Deewana. I think it was. Which that. became the most cult song of the yes. film. Yes. Yeah. What was that experience like? And it was also your first outdoor, right? It was my first outdoor, yeah. and it was the first time that Salman had come to know about um, my relationship with Malay. Mm. So for the first time I was away from the family for such a long mm -hmm. time it was about a month that we were shooting in Uti and I was feeling all this lonesome and blue because I had no family with me and we didn't have mobiles at that point of time so sure. I couldn't talk to him Ale and I would have to make you know the trunk call at that time <laughs> so um yeah so I was like really feeling so so alone yeah and uh, we had to shoot for the Divana Bin Sajnake, so apt. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, and suddenly Salman came and sat right next to me and started singing the song into my ear. He had always been such a gentleman on set and so nice to me mm -hmm. that I couldn't understand uh, where it just seemed like crossing the line over flirting. Mm. And I said, "Why is he behaving like this?" And then finally he took me to the side and he said, "I know." And I said, "Really? What is it that you know?" And then he goes like, "I know who you're in love with." So I said, "Yeah, like really." And then he said, "Okay, I know about Himalaya. Why don't you call him here?" I was like, "Oh my God, this can't be happening." Right. So when we got married, in fact, Salman and Suraji were. the people from my side because my family didn't attend my wedding wow. so uh, yeah it was special it yeah. was special absolutely <laughs> you know one other very special thing about the divana is the yellow sari that you wore <laughs> uh, which became so famous that every rajshree hero in that followed has worn yellow at some point in the film right. and one of the most crucial scenes of the film they've all worn yellow right. was this this uh, surat sir's love for yellow you know and anything on that and how were the costumes chosen for you know what character? i actually think it's yellow symbolizes sunshine and it shows the brightness of life and it shows happiness mm -hmm. so i guess that's where 
uh, resonates with every person. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. not it's not per se on having an individual passion for yellow or something like that. Mm -hmm. It it just came across like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it became epic, I mean. Yeah, and it was so know. simple that everyone could have it. You know, you needn't, you you didn't have to work on it to get a yellow sari, but you could wear the yellow sari and feel that you're Suman. Yeah, yeah, very true, very true with the, with the gajra in the hair. Yeah. <laughs> what do we see from you next, you know? When do your fans get to see you next and what's coming up? I've dabbled in a lot of um, South Indian movies. Yeah. Kanna, um, Telugu. A reason also being that there's, they've got different stories to tell, very interesting yeah. stuff. So in the span of my career, from Mene Pyaakya to now, mm -hmm. uh, there weren't really so many roles that were written for, say, women my age. Mm -hmm. So now there are people who are making different films, so yeah. I would just say, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you know, one final question. You know, we've had a history of successful films being remade. Epic films being remade. Do you think Mene Pyar Kya could ever be remade? I asked Suraji this oh, actually. Did? I okay. did. I did ask him. Yeah. And um, I said, what if yeah. you were to do the same? Yeah. Or anyone else were to yeah. do the same? Yeah. And he says, you know, the responsibility of making something that's gone down in history is so humongous yeah. that anyone who attempts that would really have to have a low, whole lot of guts and every person who's working on that set would have sure. to have those kind of, sure. um, just that kind of bravery to manage yeah. that. So a film like Mughal Azam, mm. you, you can't think of making Mughal Azam again. Mm. You can't think of making Shole again. You know, I have one more thing I've always wanted to ask you. Uh, you know, my favorite song as a three-year-old boy was Kabutar Jaja. And it was, I think it was with the whole, you know, the Kabutar and, and, and the whole, as a kid, you know, uh, seeing pigeons and always singing that song whenever I saw them. So what was that experience like? You know, shooting with the Kabutars and, and all of that? Oh, because the Kabutar got really friendly to me. And it was oh, so difficult yeah. for him to fly away. Because yeah. he would come and perch himself on my head or on my shoulder or on my hand. Yeah. And finally, uh, we used to have this whole... Uh, thing on the set when Salman would say you'd rather romance the pigeon than me so <laughs> um, yeah. yeah so I mean it was uh, difficult doing all those scenes because it would refuse to fly away like I said yeah but Suraji was also very particular on uh, making sure that the birds weren't tortured the birds were fed right and given the right kind of treatment mm -hmm. considering that he is um, such a gentle person. That's the way he wanted all of us. Yeah. And there were no, you know, computer graphics or VFX nothing, or anything. Nothing. Or, no, 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 know, no, no. Time. So I can only imagine it must have been very tough. Why do you think Rajshree films still stick? You know, Mene Pyar Kya, or Ham Aapke Ankon, or the other films that followed. You know, people say the world has changed. Everything is modern now. But what is it about these films that still sticks? What I would credit that to yeah. is uh, the heart of India. You know, mm. we as Indians, mm. we as people, mm. um, we're very emotional, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I think uh, these movies basically touch upon that chord mm. and that is why they connect with us as Indians. Yeah, excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. This Thank you so amazing. much. It was a pleasure talking really to you. Really appreciate it. Right. Okay, so before we end this interview, there's one thing I have to ask of you. I've saved this audio cassette since 1989. And I would love if you could please autograph this for us. Of course, of <laughs> Thank course. Thank you so much. Thank you.